Olumide, are you really sure you want to proceed with this divorce? My mind is made up. I'm going through with it, whether you like it or not. You finally have this once in a lifetime opportunity to work things out. Don't blow it. This month, please, can we get over and done with this? Okay, so let's uh, move to the business of today. My client here is not willing to offer anything, considering the circumstances surrounding the breakup. He wants joint custody of the children, and he's willing to pay for an apartment for the kids and the mother, and also pay for the children's pay. My client will not be signing this. He insists. He's not willing to do beyond this. And I advise you consider all of this. Otherwise, we'll go to court. And you know that you. Client is less likely to win this. Don't be too sure about that. This is what my client wants out of the divorce. Who the hell are you? A barrister of over 10 years of experience who have won almost all the cases I have handled. That's who I... I don't care about your rusty CV. You expect me to give her 20 million naira and my house? Wow. That's exactly what is stated in here. Did she tell you why we're here? Of course she knows why we're here. And so what? You're so shameless. You cheat on me, and then you ask for my money and my house. How convenient. Point of correction. I'm not shameless, and I will never bow my head in shame. It's so funny how you used to go on and on about how you never forgive a man who cheats on you. But then you go right behind my back and do the exact same thing. For all I hear right now, you might as well start dusting your wig and gown because you've been kneeling with your court. There's no way I'm giving this, this shameless woman here a die. Maybe I should refresh your memory. She cheated on me. Fast born now! Ah! These guys are just not impressing somebody today. Oh, my babies, I miss you too. But I hope you're enjoying your holiday. <laughs> and make sure you help your auntie around the house. <laughs> Alright, my love. Peace. Take care, bye. The kids? Yeah, they miss us. Oh, I miss them too. <sighs> Me too. How far now? I thought we were going to Desmond's place. Yeah, I just want to finish this match, I beg. This match? Yeah. I don't know why you bother yourself with these guys. Baka has been losing since. We all know they no, will no, no, lose no, no, today's no, no, match. No, 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 no. These boys are going to make me proud today. I'm so sure of it. Really? Please don't bring your band here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going upstairs to get ready. Yeah, you need to. Good luck. You need to get your makeup done. Do <laughs> something really nice. I will. Hurry up! Oh. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Ah. You 
Egomisan. Egomisan. Babes, why are you lying down like this? I thought you were supposed to get dressed. Are we not going out? These boys just know how to spoil somebody's mood. Simple goals they couldn't score. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> but I told you. I told you your team would lose, didn't I? Really? <laughs> you told me that my, my team would lose. Uh, we didn't lose points of correction. It was a draw. Okay. Uh, draw. And what's the name of the team that you that they play with? Doesn't matter. The most important thing is that those boys are good. They are good, bro. Because I don't know what's wrong with them. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with them. This period, I'm sure this season they're going to do really well with this new coach now and the new coach. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> What were discussed? What were discussed? What were discussed? We didn't discuss. Really? Yeah, we did uh, And you understand that like this? Because we are good, that's what I'm sad. Oh. What was the team that they had in the world? It doesn't matter the team. The boys are good. Please. Just get ready. You and just cheer eat up. up. You are just the eater, you See? know. <laughs> really? Yep. I'm just trying to protect your heart rate because, quite frankly, I will never understand why you men get so emotionally invested in football. I mean, it's just 22 men running after a ball. Just? Yes. It's a game, an interesting one at that. You want us to start a discussion right now? Honestly.
behavior is that? Hey, hey. Me. Take back it, Chitima. Never. Hmm? Wait, so you're taking back the money he decides to change? What was my business if he decides to change? I won't forgive him. Hmm? What was he looking for in the first place? <laughs> Only with knows. I always say this thing. Well, you know, I, I know. That's how my wife has been singing it. It's become music to my ears, but. You know what, guys? Let's just talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. We go back together, Sha. Ah, uh, she's gonna forgive me more. <laughs> Joe, you late for work. What's up, man? Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave me, Joe. Wake up! You'll be late for work. Right? Maybe I just want some TLC this morning. Oh, what kind of TLC are we talking about? Please, 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 please. Mm -hmm. It's time to go to work. Mm -hmm. TLC, please. You know I need to go and make your breakfast, right? I don't want that kind of breakfast. It's the breakfast. What kind of breakfast do you want? You don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh! Let me do it. Stop. Let me do it. Let me do it. Wait. Stop. Hmm? Uh. Oh yeah, you know what? Okay. How about you go mm. get a bath? Okay. Run your water, have your bath, mm. and while you're in the shower, I'll meet up with you. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Promise. Promise. Okay. <laughs> I hope to be later. Yeah, I'm coming in. Okay, baby. Right now. <laughs> 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 naughty, naughty, I'm coming. Not to call me yet by this time. It's so early, and my husband is still at home. <sighs> I miss you too. <laughs> Look, when he goes to work, 
I'll meet up with you at your hotel. Just text me the hotel address and um, the room number. I'll talk to you later. Stop, draw. Babe. <laughs> hey. Hi. How is it done? I'm almost done. Just wait for me in the dining and I'll get your food ready. <laughs> Babe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look all right. I'm good, just work stuff. Don't worry, I'm sure you got it covered. Um. Mm. I think I need to add some sugar to this. Do you need sugar? No, thanks. Okay, let me go get some sugar. I gave it all, you were my world, but you were playing with my heart.
As I was saying, you know, mm -hmm. that day, even before. Olumide, oh, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that question. I, I'm here for a meeting. You're here for a meeting. You're here for a meeting. And your things are all over the place. Your, your rings are off. What, of, what sort of meeting are you having? Trust me, it's not what you said. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I think? Please, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Can you forgive me? Please. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Please, please forgive me. I said, don't touch. You, you, you're calling God? God, God, don't call that name. It's not deserving in your mouth. Please. Okay. Do not call that name. That name is not supposed to come out in your mouth. Your mouth is too filthy. Oh, God. Forgive me, please. Forgive Look, it's not, it's not what you think. This is not what I intended. What did you intend? The reason, what did you intend? That she would just come in here with this guy, um, <laughs> stay on the bed and just peck, you know, one or two, and have lunch, say your goodbyes and come home to me. Is that it? Is that it? This, this small boy, what is he giving you that I cannot give you? What is he giving you that I'm, I'm not mad enough for you, right? Right! Don't oh, call my name! I don't want to hear my name in your mouth again. Please, we can work things out. Oh, what? What work out? What would I do, please? I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. It's fine. It's fine. If, if you come close to me, if you come close, I, I, I will approach you. I'll, 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 I'll. Gave it all. You were my world, but you were playing with my heart. Yes, I understood. No one is perfect. I still moved on with the hurt and the pain. But right now, my happiness is all that matters, matters to me. Now you know how it feels to be you. Don't beg me now, cause you know it is too late. You lost my love, you lost I'm my sorry. trust When you Please. betrayed it all Don't fake it me. now Cause you know it's too late That's it, it's so true Tried everything I just, to make this work But I guess this. it is time to say goodbye What was he doing that he didn't do? Nothing, nothing, time to nothing Please, forgive me To move Explain. on with my life. Explain. What did I give you? What? The best of houses. Give you a good car. You shop wherever you want, whenever you want. I think your family is right. I think you can do this to me. Don't touch me. The 
Virginia is still here. It's because of our kids. Once they return from their holiday, you are out. And then you're uh, And then it's not. You sleep in the kitchen. No, I mean, please. Get your hands off me. Please. Get your hands off me. even do this to me. I thought we were perfect. So you think I'd eat something that you made? You're such a joke. You get your hands off me. Don't try this again.
I mean, she seemed um, righteous and anti cheating to you kids. This one, man. She's the one who is going up in the bath. And she was always going all about how she would never forgive me if I cheated on her. And then she goes and does the same thing. So what are you going to do now? Forgive her? Oh, you know? Me? Forgive her. Repent. Definitely. But not immediately. First, I'm going to make her pay. Don't worry yourself about it. Just go out. Drink. In due time, you'll understand. Someone responded to my greetings. See how cold he was to me. Really. I'm sure Midin must have told him something. He already thinks the worst of me. No, I don't think so. I'm sure something else is about you. I gave it all, you were my world, but you were playing with my heart. Why were you cold towards my friend? No, I wasn't. I'm not stupid. I noticed how cold you were towards her. And so? It was cold to her and so she deserved it. She deserves it. Why, if I may ask? How can the woman who constantly says that she cannot forgive her man if he cheats and start cheating? But it's either in our place to judge, considering that we don't know the circumstances surrounding, you know. No circumstances? This woman was caught red-handed in the hotel room with another man. What circumstances? You know what? All men are the same. My goodness. Yes. What does men have to do with a woman caught cheating in the room? I don't understand. Why do you blame men for everything? Really? Desmond? Really? Men has come, men has come. You see? That's all this Jezebel did. Now, Barrister, 
if you were in my shoes and your husband did this to you, would you be giving him money? Would you take it lightly? That's not why we're here, Mr. Johnson. Why are we here then? You don't think what she did was wrong? I never said so. I mean, we're mainly here for your divorce case, not a therapy section, which you have obviously refused to have one. I'm not a therapist, but a barrister. Um, before we continue, I'd like to say a few things. Countless times I craved your indulgence. I begged you to forgive me. And how exactly am I supposed to get myself to forgive such acts? Oh, you sound like a saint. Weren't you cheating? It's not the same thing. Of course it's not the same thing. You're a man and so you're free to scurry free and roam the streets cheating. Because it's a man's world, right? I'd like to ask at this point, do you feel like your reaction when you saw me in that room was justifiable? Do you? I'm talking to you. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? I think your husband is in the best position to answer that. <laughs> you walk into my house, sit on my chair, and you're rude and disrespectful to me. If I open my eyes and just get out of my house, quickly! When you're done standing there like a moron, you go check what you put on the fire before you burn the whole house down. Eh? Is this one mad or something? My friend, will you get out of my house? Baby, she's already harassing me. Really? Who was this thing in my house, please? I'm so sorry about that. Um, come, let me take you to her room, okay? Okay, baby. Oh, let me I just asked you a question. Who the hell is this thing? Since you so desperately need to know, Lydia here is your replacement. Eh? As you are no longer useful around here. My replacement. Please ignore this adulterous <laughs> woman. Let's go to her. Yeah, please, after you. Okay. Olumide, is there something wrong with you, Olumide? Olumide! Um, <laughs> your house is so beautiful. Olumide! A wicked thing to you. I don't know. I don't know. He brought another woman into our home. I said the house and burned it up. He took her to our matrimonial bed in our own room. I, I don't deserve this. Honestly, I don't deserve this. I know, my friend. Olumide is such a horrible person. Ha! Huh? You know what? Don't worry. Stop crying. I'll speak to my husband to talk some sense into him. He can't be doing such rubbish. <laughs> okay, just try and get some rest. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Try and have some rest, okay? All right, dear. Good night. <laughs>
Desmond, wake up. We need to talk. Can't we talk about it later? No, you can't wait. Please, just sit up. We need to talk to you. Sit up, sit up, sit up. What is sit it? Sit up now. We need to talk to you. Sit up. Serious. What is it? Do you know that your friend brought in another woman into their home? Which friend? Which one is which friend? How many friends do you have? Olumide. Yes! Him, Olumide. He brought in another woman into the home that he shares with his family. He even took her to the matrimonial room that he shares with the visa. My goodness. But are you sure of this? Yes, I'm very sure. The visa just called me now. She's so heartbroken. Better when you're friend. Better want him to stop all this thing he's doing. Unless he's going to regret his actions. I mean, I've said my own way. Good night. And why you not give me attitude? Man? My I've way. told you my own way. I've just told you my own It's okay. I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. I'll ask him why he's such a really blue stem. I gave it all. You were my world. I'm gonna be late, <laughs> baby. But you like were playing today. with my heart. Really? I want to break my heart. I will tell you what, huh? Later in the day, yeah. I'll send a driver over so that he can come take you around time for shopping. Okay? Thank you, babe. Okay. Good day. Okay. Good morning. I prepared breakfast. I'm not interested. But it took me a while to make this for you now. Do I look like I care? Go ahead, serve the poison and eat it all by yourself. Babe, aren't you forgetting something? Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. You know it. <laughs> Bye, babe. Bye. See you when I return. I don't blame you. I really don't blame you. Sometime. 
the one where she said, Who's that? And then the end. Fine. Yeah. And how come we didn't tell me about that? Well, let's just say I wasn't proud enough to talk about it then. <laughs> now you're very proud of your trade. Not exactly, but. Uh, but nothing. We have been cheating on this. She's been cheating too. I'm always going to get you for him, children. You are. There's no way I'm going to forgive her. She doesn't deserve my forgiveness. She deserves your forgiveness. Why doesn't she? Well, I, I cannot get myself to look at her the same way I used to after seeing her in the hotel room with that man. I, I can't. Well, you haven't cheated. Well, it's different. I'm a man. She doesn't deserve Well, she deserves anything she's getting right now and more. What do you think so much? There's nothing to read. Okay. Yeah. Same now. smell. Wait, wait. What type of perfume are you wearing? What's wrong with my perfume? It smells horrible. I mean, I don't... What's wrong with you? See this one. With no home, no form of home training. Doesn't know how to cook. Always eating biscuits and juice every day. How would you vomit? Come, 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 come. What's your name? What is wrong with you? Eh? I'm talking to you. What is wrong with you? Isn't it obvious? Hmm? I'm pregnant. And please, the next time you want to wear that your horrible perfume, just stay far away from me, okay? Just don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. So she's pregnant for you. Olumide Johnson, I asked you a question. Is she pregnant for you? What are you talking about? Don't ask me that stupid question. How many women did you bring into this house? Lydia, who told you she's pregnant? I must really look like a fool to you. She threw up right in front of me and confirmed it herself. Is that what you're raving like a mad dog? So I'm a mad dog now. Well, only a mad dog would be shouting and screaming the way you're doing right now. So what if she's pregnant? Oh, so there is no problem if she's pregnant. What if I was the one who was pregnant for another man? Will you say the same thing? Oh, spare me all this, you lying cheat. For all I care, the kids might not even be mine. In your life, don't you ever utter such rubbish. You know very well that those kids are yours. I swear to God, you will regret this, Olumide. Even if it's the last thing that happens in this world, you will regret this. Oh, 
Hey, welcome. Um, what was that noise about? Are you still pregnant? Oh, that. I thought we both agreed to get rid of it. I never agreed to that, and you know it. Plus, I'm scared of losing my womb. So I decided not to abort our baby. So why didn't you let me know? Because I know you would be upset. Look at how upset you are now. You still should have told me regardless. Instead of going around and, and, and telling people about it. Teresa, for instance. I know, I know I should have told you. And I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, okay? And I wasn't announcing anything to her. I wasn't. So how, how did she get to know that you were pregnant? Okay. Earlier today, she was wearing this horrible perfume. And as soon as I perceived it, I felt like throwing up. And I went to throw up. <sighs> Babe, this pregnancy is going to show sooner or later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. Babe, I think this baby is going to be a boy. I can feel it. Like a Lomi Day Junior. Hmm? Babe. What do you think about an Lomi Day Junior? Hmm? <laughs> I think I like this. Yeah, tell me day to get this for me, and this bag is lovely. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want this. I'm going to look so fly. Mm. Who is it? Come in. <laughs> And you are? So, you are the tramp my friend's husband brought into his house. Excuse me. And who are you? <laughs> Anyways, I don't have your time. Enjoy it while it lasts. Rubbish. <sighs> who is this one, Self? Who is this one? Me, a tramp. <laughs> Teresa! <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as I have this baby, I will tell Olumide to block this stupid idiot from coming to this house. Where was I? Um... yourself. See, don't you think it's time for you to end this? Since there's nothing left for you to gain. I know. But, but what, Theresa? You need to stop this. Look, I advise you leave this house. Yes. No. I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay in this house. Theresa, <laughs> staying here is not good for you. Yeah. I know it's not good for me. But I need to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to stay here. I know it might not be good for me. But I want to get to the bottom of this. I want Olumide to do his worst. But you're hurting. I might be hurting now. But trust me, 
I swear to God, all this that I'm going through will not be compared to what only they will face at the end of the day. I don't like seeing you like this soon. I don't like it. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. I promise. I'll be okay. Just know that I'll always be here for you anytime you want to, okay? It's okay. Everything will be fine. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gave it all. You were my world. But you were playing with my heart. Yes, yes. You see, I have all evidence that. Don't worry, don't worry. Who claim you don't worry? I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll uh, see you. Welcome, Ray. How are you? Are you okay? My friend is hurting, and there is nothing I can do about it. I don't know why she doesn't want to leave that house. You see, I've advised Olumide several times. And I, I think it's just best to get a divorce. Likewise, because there's nothing left in that marriage. But I'm very certain that your friend will regret his actions. Why do you say so? Time will tell. Let me go and have a change of clothes. I'll join you. I gave it all, you were my world, but you were playing with my heart. Yes, I understood, no one is perfect, I still moved on with the hurt and the pain. Oh, yeah. My dear, what is the point of all this? Huh? I mean, Olumide does not want you anymore. So why don't you just leave this house with the little dignity you have left? Huh? Before you die of depression. Mental health is real, I hope you know that. Hmm? Before you faint and die of overthinking. What would happen to your kids? Hey, shut up there! It is you and your generation that would die. Do you hear me? In your life, don't let me hear you open your mouth and talk about my children. You are very stupid. Yeah, I'm just saying my own. I'm giving you the best advice I can. Hmm? It's only good people like me that give such advice. I hope you know that. Okay. Stay there. Oh, 
what was that for? Why can't I play with my man anymore? It didn't look like you were playing with your man. More like you were trying to get someone's attention. <laughs> Why would you say that? Wasn't it obvious? Really? <laughs> well, I just want to pepper her a little bit. I don't know why she's still in this house. I need her to leave. Well, I've been trying for ages to make her leave. She hasn't. <laughs> don't worry, babe. By the time I'm done with her, she would leave this house. I can assure you of that. Let's just watch our movie. I gave it all, you were my world, but you were playing with my heart. This one. Uh, so you're still in this house? Eh? Have you no shame? I mean, have you no self esteem? Another woman is in your house, sleeping with your husband on your matrimonial home, and you're still sitting here. Eh? You must be a witch. A witch, I tell you, because no normal woman will remain in this house. Uh, I mean, look at me now. I am spending Olumide's money. I am balling. I am living the life. And you're still here. Don't worry. I have plans for you. By the time I'm done with you, I will run you out of this house. You'll be sleeping at the gates. But don't worry. You will leave this house. Shh, shh, Who stays in the house? told you to stop calling me. Eh? I'll send the money. I gave it up. I'll send it tomorrow on Monday. I'm fine. With my heart. Everything is okay. I'm fine. And our baby is fine too. See, I can't really talk now. We'll talk later, okay? Yeah. Olude, my husband, is not the father of the child you are carrying. Why are you talking rubbish? Wait, I heard you loud and clear. So my husband is not the father of that child. You sneaky little bitch. You are talking rubbish. Rubbish, I tell you. Oh, really? Olude is the father of my <sighs> baby. Okay? <sighs> okay then. I will let him know and then you carry out a DNA test to confirm the paternity of that baby. <laughs> you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Watch me. I'm going to his office and I'll let him know what I just heard. Go. Do what? You silly bitch. <sighs> Desmond, 
prepare the divorce papers. I want to sign it. I don't want to be married to this woman one more day. In fact, one more minute, one more second, one more. Don't ask me questions. What makes you think I'm going to believe all the lies? Olomide, you know me. You know when I'm telling the truth. Besides, I'm done trying to save this sham of a marriage. And speaking of marriage, I want you to know that I never cheated on you. Oh, stop it already. I saw everything. Really? What did you see? Did you see me sleeping with that man? Or did you see what I wanted you to see? And, and what was that supposed to mean? Barrister, please send him in. Come in! What? You brought your lover! You brought your lover to our divorce hearing, really? Restrain him. You're so damn brave. Please hold your client, he's raving mad. I've always known that you were shameless, but I didn't know it was so disgusting. Mr. Dawson, please, can you watch And if I don't? Eh, Madam Barrister, if I don't? See the person you are defending now, see the person you are defending. Let me! Is that how you, you cheat on your husband? Excuse Yes, you're quite excused. Restrain oh, your dog! Let me. So I'm actually done here. Let's do this, let me get out of here. Ah. Now, to the reason why Daniel is here. Olumide, can you remember my cousin? The one I told you was coming to Lagos to apply for a job? Why did you want to hurt me? Look at my chin, look at my neck now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. You know what? I'll, I'll call, I'll get a first aid person to come and have a look at you, but please, everything is going to be okay. I'll, I will explain, okay? I'm sorry. Let me get, let me call. Do you need to see a doctor? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Everything is going to be alright. Okay. I'll, I'll send the doctor to you, okay? okay. And, and I'll see you. Okay. So it's incest now. You've had enough of all the random men everywhere. It's now your cousin. You are sleeping with your relatives. Is that what this is? Really, Olumide? Really? Olumide? You know, I knew you were dumb, but I didn't realize how clueless you are. Watch it. You know what, just relax, settle down, because I'm going to tell you this story from the very beginning. Gave it up. You were my world, but you were playing with my heart. Yes, I understood. No one is perfect. I still moved on with the hurt and the pain. But right now, my happiness is I mean, I honestly can't believe a woman they caught another woman pregnant. But you're not sure the phone is his. Then whose phone is it? Oh, I don't know what you... But nothing, Amaka. Olumide cheated on me. I can't get past that. I mean, I've always said I would never forgive a cheating husband. But when it comes to this, I realize it's a lot more easier said than done. So what you plan on doing? I don't know. 
really don't know what to do, Amaka. I really don't know what to do, Amaka. I'm so confused. I think you should talk to him about it. Then both of you will come together and think of a way out. I don't think you should allow another woman to destroy your home. Another woman did not destroy my home. Olumide used his hands to destroy our home. I've got to move you know, I can't believe this. The worst part is when I consider and I think of this, if the roles were reversed, would Olumide forgive me? If I was the one who was sleeping with another man, would he allow another man break our home? That night, I thought hard. I was so confused, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't sure what my next line of action would be. And so I asked myself, what would Olumide do if he was in my shoe? Then I came up with a plan. Are you sure your husband is not around? I was the only ones in this house. Feel free to sit with you. So I've been thinking about this thing, and I have an idea. Okay, so what's the idea? I'm going to set Olumide up. I want him to catch me and make it look like I'm cheating with another man. Are you being serious right now? Of course I'm serious. This your plan is ridiculous. Why bother go through it? Because I want him to feel the way I'm feeling. I want him to feel the pain and, and, and how uncomfortable I'm feeling right now. I don't think this your plan is a good idea. It might backfire and lead to something else unexpected. For instance, what if he fails the test? You'll become more heartbroken. Yes, I will, but then I would have done this for me. You know, I would have peace of mind and I would know that maybe he's actually worth forgiving or he's actually worth my time. <laughs> okay. Have you thought of some elements you want to use for this plan? Like who is the man that you plan on using for this plan? Um, I'm still thinking about it. Do you have any ideas? I don't like how this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. I suggest, suggest, suggest. That's why I'm telling you, so you can help me. Uh, maybe someone that has nothing to gain from all of this. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Time. You sound all grown up and mature. Okay, you're coming to Lagos? That's great. Sure, sure, sure. You can come around. You can come to our place anytime. You're always welcome. Alright. Take care. And greet your mom for me. Babes, who was that? Ah, oh, he's uh, my nephew or well, my cousin's son. She had him when she was 15. Huh. What? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Girl! Are you kidding me right now? He's the perfect candidate. You're unbelievable. Oh. Theresa.
Days turned to weeks, and the day I had planned for finally came. To be honest, I woke up that morning with a lot of doubts, but still, I went ahead with the plan. I had already planned with Amaka the time she would call. Immediately I heard her footsteps. I sent her a message to call me. And then she did. Hi. I told you not to call me here by this time. It's so early. My husband is still at home. I miss you too. <laughs> Look, when he goes to work, I'll meet up with you at your hotel. Just text me the hotel address and uh, your room number. I'll talk to you later. Stop, draw. Hey. Hi. Hey, she done? I'm almost done. Just wait for me in the dining and I'll get your food ready. I knew you heard everything. I noticed your countenance changed. Phase one okay, done. Okay? Now it yeah. was time for phase two. Right. You don't look all right. I'm good. Just work stuff. Don't worry. I'm sure you got it covered. Um. I think I need to add some sugar to this. Do you need sugar? No, thanks. Okay. Let me 
I had sown the seed of doubt. So the plan was to find a reason to leave the table and plant my phone in such a way that you read the message when it comes in. I was sure you read the message, because immediately I walked in, you dashed off. Phase one done, the final phase to go. Since the man for the job had been sorted, for the plan to work, I needed a day to work for me, to let me know about Olumi Day's movement on that day. Now this is where Ade came in handy. He sent a text to me informing me you guys were headed to the hotel room. Fully aware you were there, you would see me come down from the taxi and head straight to the hotel entrance door. Things are all over the place. Your your rings are off. What of, what sort of meeting are you having? Trust me, it's not what you With this drunk man. What is it? 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 What 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 do I think? Forgive me, please. Thank you. 
Look, it's not, it's not what you think. This is not what I intended. What did you intend? Theresa, what did you intend? That she would just come in here with this guy, um, <laughs> stay on the bed and just peck, you know, one or two, and have lunch, say your goodbyes and come home to me. Is that it? Is that it? This, this small boy, what is he giving you that I, that I cannot give you? What is he giving you that I'm, I'm not mad enough for you, right? Right! Don't call my name! I don't want to hear my name in your mouth again. Please, we can work things out. What? 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 Please. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. It's fine. It's fine. If, if you come close to me, if you come close, I'll 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 you. I'll 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 What did, did I do to him? Why did he want to hurt me? Look at my chin, look at my neck now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. You know what? I'll, I'll call, I'll get a first aid person to come have a look at you. But please, everything is going to be okay. I'll explain. I'm sorry. Let me take let me call. But do you need to see a doctor? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Everything is going to be alright. I'll, I'll send the doctor to you. Okay. And I'll see you. this all along yes indeed and you failed my test I must confess you really had me fooled I was literally dumbfounded to find out the kind of man I was actually married to but you know what all of that doesn't matter anymore this divorce papers Give me everything there. I'm so... Sorry? No, did I hear you say sorry? Because a while ago you were barking and raving mad like a dog and blabbing and saying all kinds of nonsense. I don't want to do this. Just sign these papers. You are going to give me every single one of those items on that contract. And trust me, you don't want me to ruin you. You know your office, you don't need any scandal. Your position is very sensitive and delicate. If you try me, Ulumidi, if you dare me, I will send this story to the blogs and trust me, they will have a feast on this story and your reputation will be gone. Come on, you can't possibly do that. I dare you. Try me. I dare you, Ulumidi. Just don't sign this list. Don't give me my 20 million. Hmm? and my every demand on this contract and see what will happen to you. I guess my work here is done. Barrister? Thank you, Barrister. Thank you for your time. Daniel, let's go. Please. Please. Teresa, we can, we can talk about this. Talk about this? Just you and I. <laughs> really? I'm going through with this divorce, whether you like it or not. Those were your words. I 
this uh, set. Let's talk. Let's take it easy. Everything goes back to shape, okay? Welcome back. So, how was it? I want you to tell me the truth. Was I the father of the child you were carrying? I knew it. I mean, I just knew that woman would come up with lies. She would say anything just to have you I back. I asked a simple question. Was I the father of the child you were carrying. Why, why would you even say that? Go ahead. Take your call. No, I'll call the person later. Let's just... Babe! So it is true. Babe, I can explain. Explain what? What exactly do you want to explain? It's not what you think. What is it? <laughs> what do I think? No, 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 no. What do you want to explain to me right now? How you've been deceiving me? How you lied to me? Or how you have destroyed my marriage? Is that what you want to explain? Babe. Do not touch me. I'm such a fool. You, you played me. Impressive. Now you will go up there. No, no. Pick up no, no. everything no, I'm, you I'm have. Sorry. And get the hell out of my house. I'm sorry. I'm and then get out of my house. Fuck. No. Get out. Get out. Get out.
Please. I came to get the rest of my things and my passport. Please, please wait. Wait. But I know that what I did was wrong. And Teresa, you have no business even standing here and listening to me. What I did was really terrible, horrible, inhumane. And if you choose not to forgive me, I, I would not hold it against you. I'm sorry. I am terribly. I am terribly sorry. Please do find it in your heart to forgive me. I promise not to hurt you again. Teresa, please. No, it's too late for this. Please. It's too late for this. I should take you back. No. How do you expect me to forgive you? Which one of your many shenanigans am I supposed to forgive? Is it the fact that you brought in your lover into our matrimonial home? Or you soiled our matrimonial bed? Olumiji? Is it the fact that you, you doubted the paternity of our children? You shouldn't have. Or, you kick, or the fact that you kicked me out of the house? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Please, we can start all over again. I can't do this. Believe me, Dave. <sighs> There's nothing left between us, apart from our children. We can start fresh. We can, I, I just can came to pick to up you. my passport. I'm traveling to pick the children up. Let me make it up to you, please. 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 Teresa, please, if I've ever meant anything to you, please. Get your filthy hands off me. Get your filthy hands on me. No one is perfect. I still move on with the hurt and the pain. But right now, my happiness is all that matters, matters to me. Now you know. How it feels to be in my shoes Don't beg me now, cause you know it is too late You lost my love, so, you lost my So my car is parked outside, okay? Alright, thank you. Alright. Don't beg me now, cause you know it is too late tried everything to make this work but i guess it is time to say goodbye oh time to say goodbye to you i've got to move on with my life oh, time to say Is there a part of me that feels I shouldn't have done this in the first place? Yes. Is there a part of me that screamed about mission immediately he brought his lover into our home? Yes. Do I regret fighting for my home? No. Funny as it sounds, I was indirectly fighting for my sanity, peace and resolve. Everything that happened is a pure indication that we as humans can sometimes dish out what we can't take. I gave Olumide a taste of his own medicine and he couldn't handle it. In all this, I got to know the real him. It hurts, I must confess, but I will be fine. I deserve all the happiness in this world and I will stop at nothing to achieve it.
I gave it all You were my world But you were playing with my heart Yes, I understood No one is perfect I still moved on With the hurt and the pain But right now my happiness is all that matters, matters to me. Now you know how it feels to be in my shoes. Don't thank me now, cause you know it is too. You lost my love, you lost my trust When you betrayed it all Don't thank me now Cause you know it is too late I tried everything to make this work But I guess it is time to say goodbye Oh, time to say goodbye To move on with my life oh, Time to say